my strategy on this one was to try to stay within the blues and the greens and to use pencils of the same color to try to keep the, the color palette the same. Rachel Feltenberger is showing me one of her favorite creations. Sometimes when I do them, I, I try to use every single color and not use any of the same colors next to each other. But on this one, I just try to stay with the more consistent color family to try to give it a consistent look. Here at West Irving Library, she and other participants are gathering around tables to indulge in this surprising, popular trend, adult coloring. We are doing an adult coloring program. Everyone ages 18 and up is invited to stop by and color. We have some snacks and we provide all the supplies, adult coloring books and colored pencils and crayons. When you take a closer look at what they're working on, differences between adult coloring books and those for children become more clear. They tend to be more complicated, you know, a little bit more technical. There's more points, not the same kind of curves, and a little bit more intricate sometimes. As the trend has grown, they also tend to be themed. So you can get Harry Potter themed coloring books, or Game of Thrones themed coloring books, or animal themes, or nature themes, or that sort of thing. So they do tend to be more detail oriented than children's coloring books. The adult coloring sessions happen once a month. There's a lot of books to choose from. After flipping through and picking a page, the coloring begins. From there, adults partake in an activity that gives them more than just a social setting and creative outlet. I think it's a stress reliever. Yes, it is, it's therapeutic and it's relaxing. I think it takes you away from your ordinary life. As it takes you away from the stress, some tell me it can also help them concentrate. Sometimes I'm thinking about my to-do list for the week and I'm getting things mentally organized. Sometimes it's, you know, I'm just trying to sort through, you know, whatever's going on in my life or um, I'm a writer, so sometimes it helps to you know build plots, just, you know, because you're doing something with your hands and frees up your brain and all that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, adults are enjoying a chance to release their kid with it. It kind of brings you a little bit back to your childhood when, you know, you color just kind of for fun and amusement. Allowing these folks to reminisce and let their artistic juices flow. It's your creativity coming out. Susan Kamyab for City Source.